Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Now, when the acetyl CoA here, acetyl CoA, this synthesized, this will come into the citric acid cycle. And this acetyl CoA is the two carbon molecule. It takes four carbon from another compound that is oxaloacetate oxaloacetate so oxaloacetate is the 4 carbon compound this 2 carbon 4 carbon combined and form citric acid this citric acid is the 6 carbon compound now this citric acid will isomerize and form isocitric acid isocitric acid this is also a 6 carbon compound so only isomerization take place so enzyme isomerase make sure some books have demonstrated citric acid will further convert it into the cis aconitase cis aconitase and this cis aconitase will convert it into the isocitric acid here both place enzyme aconitase will used so this is also okay you can easily convert into this or this cis aconitase is an intermediate compound very unstable so this will again convert it into the isocitric acid now this isocitric acid will further remove one carbon dioxide molecule carbon dioxide we have understand that whenever carbon dioxide molecule removes then two hydrogen atoms also removed this hydrogen atoms will be picked up by the NAD plus and it will form NADH plus H plus here removal of the hydrogen atom so what happens enzyme use isocitrate dehydrogenase here the enzyme name isocitrate dehydrogenase now one carbon molecule carbon molecule removed out here from then this is the six carbon now the product will be the five carbon compound and five carbon compound will be alpha keto glutrate yeah alpha keto glutric acid and this is the five carbon moiety now from alpha keto glutrate again one carbon dioxide molecule again removes out so when one carbon dioxide removes then again hydrogen molecules also remove this hydrogen molecules again here picked up by the NAD plus and form NADH plus H plus here dehydrogenation after the alpha keto glutrate so enzyme will be alpha keto glutrate dehydrogenase dehydrogenase now since one carbon atoms also removed out now the five carbon will become four carbon and here one more things addition of the coenzyme a addition of the coenzyme a so the resultant product here will be 
succinyl CoA. Now this succinyl CoA will here very important things from succinyl CoA the next compound will be succinic acid there is a lot of time this question asked that at which place of the Krebs cycle substrate level phosphorylation take place so here directly one phosphate groups removed out and it will form ADP into the ATP ADP will form ATP so conversion of the this formation of the ATP or sometimes in some books it's also known as the GTP so don't get confused GDP will form GTP formation of the GTP so this is the substrate level phosphorylation this is very important so here succinyl CoA here what happens succinyl CoA converted into the succinic acid now this succinic acid here one more thing this is also a four carbon compound now this is the four carbon compound here your starting acetyl CoA when joined with the oxalo state this was the also four carbon means from succinic acid to succ oxalo acetate there is no any removal of the or addition of the carbon molecule will be take place so there will be the same now this succinic acid form fumaric acid fumaric acid and here succinic acid when form the fumaric acid then again dehydrogenation will be take place and dehydrogenation removal of the hydrogen but here important thing here this hydrogen will not picked up by the NAD this is picked by the FAD this will picked up by the FAD plus this FAD picked this hydrogen and form FADH2 this FADH2 now fumaric acid now when this succinyl CoA converted into the succinic acid then enzyme use succinate thiokinase thiokinase now this succinic acid will form fumaric acid here enzyme use fumarate dehydrogenase now this fumaric acid will converted into the malic acid into the malic acid this is only the isomerization malic acid now here the enzyme used that is the fumarase fumarase here important things at which step of the Krebs cycle water molecules remove so here when the use of fumarase then one molecule of the water removed out now this malic acid will again becomes the oxalic acetate by the removal of hydrogen atoms so here removal of the hydrogen atoms and this hydrogen atoms will picked up by the NAD plus and form NADH plus H plus here malic acid removes hydrogen atoms so here enzyme which used known as the malate dehydrogenase now here in the when this citric acid synthesized then here enzyme use citrate synthetase citrate synthetase so this is the brief idea about the Krebs cycle starting from the 2 carbon it becomes 6 carbon and again removal of the 2 carbon moiety 
at different steps it forms succinyl coa four carbon then converted into the oxaloacetate so here if we form the how many atp molecules will be formed make sure one important things after the ending of the glycolysis how many pyruvic pyruvic acid will form two means acetyl coa will be two moiety so this two moiety will run two times krebs cycle so each glucose complete burning will take place two krebs cycle so from one krebs cycle how many atp will be produced so from the first krebs cycle how many nadp nadh plus form first form during the this so two after that three so how many nadh form three fadh2 how many fadh2 form only one when the conversion of succinic acid into the fumaric acid so one and how many atp will be formed here so gtp here will be one so each nadh2 have the three atp value so here three is to three means total nine atp fads to have the two atp value means here two and one so total atp total atp after each krebs cycle will be 12 okay if two times this krebs cycle runs then how many of if the question asked after each Krebs cycle. How many ATP will be produced? Then it will be 12. If the question comes after the one molecule burning of the glucose, how many ATP will be formed from the Krebs cycle? So from each pyruvic acid two times, then 12 will be the 24. So from the total, it will be the 24. 10 was in the glycolysis. So glycolysis have the 10, and when the intermediate conversion pyruvic acid into the acetyl coa then one nadh to there after complete burning two nadh one nadh means three atp so total will be the six atp so how many total atp will be produced so it will becomes 40 and the gain will be two used in the glycolysis so total gain atp will be the if we talk about the gain ATP, then it will becomes the 38 ATP after the complete burning of one glucose molecule by the aerobic respiration. So here is a very easy trick by which you can remember all the steps involved into the Krebs cycle. Citrate is Krebs. starting substance for making oxaloacetate so what happens here match if each word citrate first step was the citrate is isocitrate crepes ketoglutrate starting succinyl coa substance succinic acid for fumaric acid making malic acid oxaloacetate here oxaloacetate so citrate is crepes starting substance for making oxaloacetate if you will remember this tricks then you can easily convert this crepe cycle thank you